Hello. Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Brother Wolf. I don't know about you, but when I listen to a bedtime story, I like to crawl into bed first and get all comfortable under the covers. So if you haven't already, why don't you go ahead and do that? Because today, we're going to be listening to Stone Soup. Once, a long time ago, there was a little town, a little town near where you live, wherever that is in the world. And this little town, it had been through some hard times. The war had come and gone. A famine had come. People had been hungry. Diseases, crop failures, things had not gone well. But now, now things were better. But the people there, they weren't used to good times. They had forgotten what they were like. They'd forgotten the advantages of being in a town. They all looked after their own, for they had no energy for looking after anyone else. There were three wandering minstrels, circus performers, long out of work from the circus who wandered from town to town, offering entertainment. They came into the town, the three men, looking to see, perhaps they could do a show here. They played their music, they sang their songs, but no one came. They just stood out in the town square by themselves. One old man wandered by, looked at them funny, and kept on going. What a peculiar town, said the oldest man with the white beard and the jester cap. What a peculiar town. Yes, I know, said the youngest man. What are we to do? We want to eat tonight. There's nothing for it, said the second oldest. There's nothing for it. Let us make some stone soup. Stone soup? Yes, yes, stone soup. Now, I know those who know the story are thinking they should have asked for the food first. But they knew these people. They knew already what would happen. It had happened to them many times before. They went to the center of the town square, and they took out their little traveling pot, and they built a fire, and they poured water into the pot from the town well. And then they took three stones and they set them next to the pot there on a little um, plate. And they waited. And they told stories and they played music and they laughed. And as the sun began to set, the townspeople began to look out their windows at these three, three strange men who had been there all day. Well, the first person to come out was the town sheriff. He walked out and he said, Hey, no vagrants are out here. Get, get moving. Oh, we'd be glad to be moving, said the three travelers. Uh, but first, we just want to finish our soup and eat it, if you don't mind. Oh, that's fine, said the sheriff. Go, go ahead. Um. And then he looked and he saw that their bags were empty and the soup was boiling and there were the three stones and... What what are you eating in your soup? Oh, we're having stone soup, said the three minstrels. Stone soup. Yes, it's delicious. Perhaps you'd care to join us. Oh, uh, well, uh, the sheriff was so interested. He, he was so fascinated. He'd never heard of stone soup that he couldn't help himself. He said, um, I guess I better stay here just, just to make sure you're safe. Oh, would you like some stone soup? And we're done. They took the three stones and they put them in the water. And the sheriff said, Well, I, I guess I would. Well, you know, it, it's, it's, it's conventional that to, when you come to share in food that you bring something with you. What, what have you brought? Oh, 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 oh I, have some, um, I have some garlic at home. I'll be right back. And the sheriff ran home and got his garlic. And they cut it up and put it in the pot. Well, right behind the sheriff was a young boy from another house in the village. He looked and 
He said, what are you making? And they said, we're making stone soup. And the boy said, wow, I've never heard of stone soup. Can I have some? Sure. They said, but what are you going to bring? Oh, oh, I know. I know. Said the boy, I have some salt and pepper. And he ran home and got the salt and pepper. Well, as he was running by, an old woman stuck out her head and she said, where where are you going? The, The sun is setting. What are you doing? I am going to eat the stone soup, called the boy. At the stone soup? What the stone soup? And everyone in the village could hear the old woman calling out, Stone soup? What, what are you saying? Stone soup? That is so silly. I'd like to try it, though. And so she went and got a bag of carrots. Now, when she showed up with her bag of carrots and looked at their little pot, she said, That pot is way too small for all these carrots. And she went home and got her bigger pot, and the sheriff helped her to carry it back. And the other villagers saw the pot going by, and they heard the music and the voices, and they began to come out, one after the other. One brought a bag of potatoes, another a bag of turnips, and still another some onions. Another brought some kale from their garden. And a young family came with a whole basket full of fresh, ripe tomatoes. <laughs> Well, now there were so many people in the town square and there was singing and there was dancing and there was joyous laughter that all of the people who were left in the village, they had to find out what was happening. And they came to the town square and when they heard all they had to do was bring a little of their own and they could have some of the delicious, magical stone soup, they ran home to get something. Well, it wasn't long before there were three pots boiling on the fire. And soon enough, the stone soup was done. The lead minstrel went up to the soup and tasted it with a spoon. Mmm, just as I knew. It is perfect. Really, said the villagers, it is perfect? Oh, yes, it is. And as I give each of you your bowl of soup, you did bring your bowls, didn't you? The villagers all looked astonished and quickly turned to run. No, no, wait, wait. As you run and get your bowls, think of this, that when we came here, we did not come into a village. We came into the bones of a village. But here I see, here I see the true village, the true home of a people who are joyous and loved. And all the villagers went back to to their houses to get their bowls and came back with their bowls and their spoons and each received a big helping of lovely stone soup. Now it's time for bed. So get beneath your covers, close your eyes, and if you're lucky, your mom and dad will tuck you in. And please remember, in the morning when you awake, If you want, you can always buy a story from me, Brother Wolf, if you go to www.ericwolf.org. They are on the right-hand side. You can click a link to buy funny stories for your smartphone, or you can always buy the old-fashioned way, CDs through the mail. Thank you for listening.